Hi, Lexi Daly here with this week's episode of Make It Monday for Paper Tray Ink. Today I'm going to share some ideas with you on how to make a color wheel card. Okay, so let's get started. Before you think, oh, I'm not a rainbow person, I just want to tell you a little bit about my process and thinking of this. So right here I do have um, just your basic colors that I use for a basic rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Sometimes we throw in a darker blue for the indigo. But I like I like just the primary and secondary colors for starters. Um, and since this is based on the color wheel, then that's what, what I'm going to do. Um, except that I don't want it to be a rainbow card. Um, I'm in the mood for um, brighter colors right now, so or lighter, brighter colors, more spring-like colors. So when I approach something with either a rainbow or when I want a lot of color on the card, I start with the color wheel and then I might make some swaps. And just to show you this card, although it's not a color wheel card, it has all representations, um, colors represented from the primary and secondary colors, um, just in different, um, I made some swaps, some different um, shades or hues that I wanted to change out to make it more spring-like. And I'm going to be using um, mostly the same colors that I used in this card. So I start with the basic rainbow in my head, and then I decide, you know, if I'm not in the mood for a full rainbow, I make some changes. So for starters, I don't really want to use red today. I want to use pink instead. Um, I do like this bright orange with this pink, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, and I love Bright Buttercup, although I'm also going to be using a Harvest Gold with it. And for that matter, with the pink, I'm also going to be using Sweet Blush with it to kind of bring in a little bit of lightness. Um, I don't want this dark of a green today, and I am in love with green parakeet these days, so I'm going to trade out my green. And then I'm going to go with a more blue-green blue, too. So I'm going to go with Hawaiian Shores with a hint of Tropical Deal. And then I'm going to stick with the Amethyst Allure. And I will also be using Lilac Grace. And then added to my orange zest, I'm going to need a little bit of a lighter color for a detail, and so I'm using Summer Sunrise. So here I've built my color palette, um, starting with a basic color wheel. And this card is going to end up having the look of a color wheel too, so that was important for this particular project. But this is a similar way that I go about making a colorful card as I think about how the colors work together, which I will go into more in another post another day, how I might choose certain cards out of this and not have the full spectrum. Um, but for starters today, this is what I'm going to be working with. Now, if you're into pastels, you can totally take out the bright colors and you can add in lighter colors, like I would swap out Aqua Mist for this one and maybe Limeade Ice for that one. So Limeade Ice and Aqua Mist. And there you have a lighter spectrum. Um, and then if you like jewel tones, you can change it out for all jewel tones. And so let's go back to the colors that I'm using. And just to go over that one more time. And so we see our pink, which represents our red across from green. Pink and green are opposites. We see our blue and our orange, and we see our yellow and purple. And so there's our basic color wheel. So I'm going to move these out of the way, and I'll start stamping. I'm going to use die cuts for this card. So first I'm going to stamp the die cuts, and then I'll show you how I put it together. Okay, so again, today I decided to use um, Flower Power. I've been very much in a spring mood, and after stamping that card the other day, I really wanted to play with it some more. Back when it was released, I was at Parents Weekend, first Parents Weekend at college, and so I didn't get to participate as much as I wanted, so this is kind of my chance to pull it out and really have fun with it. So here's my die cuts, and I've, I've pulled out a palette to separate them, and I'm really only going to be using one of each, or two leaves, um, but I pulled out a palette just to keep them separate, and that helps me remember what colors that I'm going to do them in. My pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then purple. And I'm going to use a similar technique to die cutting as I did in my design team tips recently, and I, I produced a recent video to show you that as well.
Okay, now with all my flowers done, I'm going to do my sentiment in a similar way. Um, I used a circle die cut from um, Celtic Cross. It was sitting on my desk. It was the right size for the sentiment. I'm sure you have a variety of circles at your disposal, but I'm going to fill that with the phrase, the earth laughs and flowers. So when I want a centered sentiment or on a die cut, I do it the exact same way as I would any die cut. So I place it where I, I could have just done it on the door too. Make sure my paper is nice and straight. And I'm going to stamp it. Center my circle on it. Make sure that's where I want it to go. I just drop it in. And it's nicely centered and in the right place. Voila. All right, so now that we have the pieces, let's assemble the card. I decided to start with a um, card front panel that is five and a quarter by four, so one eighth of an inch frame all the way around. And I cut one of the one of Betsy's shape shifters, the circle, um, inside because I thought it would have a nice detail. And I will be mounting that with smoky shadow cardstock on top of another white card base. So for starters, I just want to start the assembly here and then we can get it into place. So I'm going to start by putting my um, circle in the center and I can use these points as a guide. And of course I'm going to pop that up. I just want a square back there because I'm going to be tucking the flowers in. And I'm going to use those the points where it lands as a guide. There we go. And I'm going to press it in. Now I chose this circle because it helped me represent my color wheel. And I mean, any kind of circle will do, or you don't even need one at all. But I'm going to take my flowers and tuck them in. And my starting point could be anywhere, but I kind of like the pink here so that the green leaves would hang off the edge. Um, I stamped three leaves when I was working because one of them, the, the um, mask moved. And so I wanted a double stamp with the green parakeet. And for my leaves, I'm just going to take off the stems because I don't need that long stem. And I am using two leaves because they kind of balance the rest of the flowers better. So first I'm going to get everything into place before I start to adhere them down. And I'm just kind of tucking in them. The biggest was the yellow. And so I did need to push that one under a little bit more. And if necessary, you could always cut it a little. But I don't think it's gonna be necessary. I like it hanging, hanging outside of the circle. And so there, that looks good for my placement. I'm gonna tuck the gray underneath it so that I can see. And kind of get my placement. And so there I have my color wheel all nicely represented. Pink and the green are across from each other, the blue and orange are across from each other, and the purple and yellow are across from each other. And I have a nice spectrum of color, but not necessarily a rainbow. And so let me get some adhesive on these and stick them into place. And there we go. Some are tucked under a little bit more than others so that you have kind of a good balance of size and shape sticking off and around the circle. So now let me add on my gray layer. And 
And the gray layer happens to be three by three. If you have nesting circles, you can also cut a circle that's slightly bigger and glue that down. Um, I just measured the circle and went with a piece slightly bigger. And then right onto a white card base. I considered a smoky shadow card base, but in the end I really liked the white and bright with just the small pop of dark in the center. And there you have it, a color wheel inspired flower card. I can picture so many things in place of the flowers. I um, almost pulled out Pencil Me In to do it with pencils, which I probably will do that at some point. Um, I could see teapots, I could see all kinds of things in place of these. And it's just a really fun um, card concept when you're kind of stuck is just go with the color wheel. Go with um, something that is familiar and fun. Now it's your turn. Pick your own spectrum and head on over to the Paper Tray Ink blog to link up and play along. I can't wait to see what you create. This has been Lexi Daly for Paper Tray Ink. Thanks for watching. Bye.